Welcome to Pins and Things. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this merman tail for around $30. If you decide you like this video, make sure to subscribe and share it and also give us a big thumbs up. to a hardware store and got this thick rubber mat. Rubber is neutrally buoyant, so it's not going to pull you down or make your legs float up, and that's exactly what we need for a mermaid tail. I got this at the hardware store. It was maybe like $10, but we're not gonna use the whole thing. In fact, if you wanted to, you could cut it in half and make two mermaid fins with this one mat. I also have a poster board and I'm gonna be folding it in half right away. I'm doing this so that I can make it a mirrored image on both sides and we can make our pattern really easily that way. I'm putting my feet on here to see. I wanna make sure there's plenty of space so that their ankles aren't touching together but at the same time, they're not gonna to to be too far apart either. So I think that's where the feet are gonna go. I'm gonna take my pencil and kind of draw around the outside edge of the feet the shoe and we're going to start going down. This is where our fin is going to start going out to the corner. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to bring it in a little bit. I'm just looking at some pictures for reference and designing my pattern from there. And now I'm just cutting out my pattern while it's folded over on itself to make it perfectly even on both sides. I think that looks pretty mermaid taily. What do you say? Now that I have my pattern, I'm gonna go ahead and take a silver marker to draw on top of the black mat underneath. Once I'm done outlining, then I can go ahead and cut it out with some heavy duty scissors because this is thick stuff. The reason why I'm actually using this mat and not the same kind of mat that I used last time when I made a mermaid fin is because this is just a little bit thicker. What I found was it was kind of too floppy for my taste with the last mermaid tail, so I'm just learning as I go and improving and making sure that I try out a little bit thicker and see if that works. Ta-da! All right, let's cut it out. The secret sauce to the mermaid tail that I make is barge all-purpose cement. It works perfectly for putting rubber on rubber, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. I want these shoes to be about an inch apart, and so that's exactly where they're gonna go, just about right there and right there. I'm gonna go ahead and outline along the outside edge of the shoes. All right, time to add our glue. I'm going to read all of the instructions very carefully and just make sure that I don't miss anything use it exactly as it's intended. So I'm putting a thin layer over the entire space that I know that the shoe will need to be covered on both sides. So I'm gonna put it on the, sh the surface of the mat and the bottom of the shoe. I'm spreading it really thin so it's not puddling everywhere. It needs about 20 minutes to dry until it gets more sticky and then we can press them firmly together and leave them overnight to dry. And I'm making sure to do this in a well ventilated area because it says to do that. <laughs> so I'm making sure to do that. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes and now it's time to press them together and I'm gonna set something on top of them just to make sure that they're really sticking well while they're drying through the night. So I'm gonna put this in the garage, I'm gonna put something heavy on top of it, and then I'm gonna let this dry throughout the night. Okay, that should do it. We'll leave this here and we'll come back tomorrow. Alrighty, it's been more than a day. <laughs> do you like how I stacked it? I have all sorts of heavy things on top of this. Oh, that looks pretty good to me, look at that. When you can pick it up by the shoe, then you know that it's glued right. Ryan is going to be, this is my brother, if you don't already know. Hello. Ryan is going to be my merman. Ugh. You are my merman. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, so we need a couple of measurements. One is how fat are you? No, I'm just, just kidding. So, <laughs> so we need a hip measurement or wherever we want the merman tail to go up to. I think that belly looks button like right a This is where my belly button is. So right at the belly button, and he is about 33 inches. I'm taking 33 inches and I'm dividing it by 
four. So we need eight and a quarter inches to be able to put on the top of the pattern that we're gonna make. And it's so easy to make. I made sure to keep the pattern for the fin so that I can use this to make our full pattern at the end. And I'm actually folding it in half. Here is the majestic, wonderful material we're gonna use for it. It's used for swimsuits and it's super stretchy. So I'm folding it in half over itself. And this is how far we need it folded in half to be able to save as much material as possible. Okay, so I'm setting it right on the fold. I need to measure his height now from the floor all the way up to his belly button. So right here down to the floor is 35, 36, 40 and one half inches from the floor all the way up to his belly button. And that is going to go from the top of the fin here laid out on top of my material. So I have it right here all the way up to here. And then the it's kind of, we're playing connect the dots. At 43, I have my ruler and I want to put it at 8.25 because that is his waist divided into four. And that's the measurement we need for right here. And I'm just gonna draw a, a line across the top here to mark where we're cutting. And now that we have that, I'm going to go down one foot for hip allowance. Now that I've made that mark, we're really just playing connect the dots again. We're gonna take our measuring tape and go down to the part of where it will go a smooth cut into the fin. And I'm just gonna use my ruler here. Now that I have that part done, I'm just gonna connect this dot and draw around the outside of my fin here. I'm not leaving room for seam allowance because this is so stretchy. At this point, you can tell I've made my entire pattern. It's completely put together and now I just need to cut out my pattern. Then I can lay out the pattern on top of the rest of my material and cut out one more piece that is identical to this one. I have it all laid out and pinned down and now I'm just cutting out the second one. Okay, the whole thing is ready to go. I just need to serge it together along the sides and make sure to leave a hole for the top. That's really going to hold together really well. So I have a link in the description below where you can find all of the supplies that are needed for this video on Amazon. Okay! It's finished. I just surged the outside edge of the entire thing. It looks great. So I'm gonna flip it inside out first. Now I need to roll up my mermaid fin in order to get it to fit in there. This is what I love so much about this fin is that it can get pretty small. The material is stretchy enough that I know I can get this through here and it can be easily removed. Perfect. <laughs> Ooh, it's coming together. And would you look at that? We have a merman tail. Now we just need our merman. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Merman. Woo! You ready? Yes. Okay. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> I feel like a shark. Oh. I don't know what to do. You can't. <laughs> you can't do anything. <laughs> A macho man. <laughs> <laughs>
so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram on the beach house over here. Also, you can watch our other mermaid tail video over here. Come see us at CVX Live on August 3rd through the 5th in the Salt Palace in Salt Lake City. And we will see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>